Hi, welcome everyone. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, I will be going to explain you how you can do a quick deploy using end tool. You can do this through uh, workbench and you can do this through the change set as well. But uh, as a part of this video, I'll be covering it like how you can do this through end tool. Okay. So uh, first of all, uh, you know, have to have the quick deploy feature enabled. You you need to do is you should run a specific test or you have to run the test to get the uh, quick deploy feature enabled. So until you run any specified test or all the tests in your org, you will not get this feature of quick deploy. That is the first thing that you need to remember about this quick deploy feature. Okay, so uh, first of all, so in this scenario, I have to find some uh, classes or triggers so that I can show you how you can do it. Okay, so if you see here, I have one class in my org which is content trigger apex class and I have one trigger as well. Right, so I have one contact trigger. So let me go to the trigger and I show you. I'll show you. Okay, if you see here. Okay, so this is the trigger that I have contact trigger and this I have the test class for this particular trigger. Now I, have, now I want this particular class and the test class to be deployed to the higher environment. Okay, so let's say in the scenario of the production environment, uh, you don't want uh, you know you don't want uh, a specific day to uh, run all the validation and everything, and you want to your package to be prepared before the date of the deployment. So you will do all the valid package validation and on the date of your production deployment you can just click on the quick deploy feature and uh, it would not take much of your time and uh, your deployment will be pretty smooth. Okay. So uh, in this scenario let me first uh, tell you how you can retrieve it through the uh, end tool. Like now these two components I have to retrieve. Okay. So this for this thing I should have this should be my package XML. So I, ha I should have member, I mean name as apex trigger and I would have member as contact trigger and I, again the second component is apex class and the member is this test class right. Now if I will click on the end retrieve package okay so this is the command that I have to use end retrieve unpackaged okay so once I will do this uh, what it will do is it will give me the components uh, Okay, so it will give me this component where it will give me the component in the retrieve and package folder okay so if you see here I got this component now okay I think if you see here so once it will say when successfully you will get the component okay so I got this class uh, test class and I got this trigger as well right so now what I have to do, I have to take these components, okay, and I have put to put this component where in the code pkg file, okay. So I will put this component in the code pkg file. I have replaced this, okay. So let me again delete everything, just for your understanding, right? Just deleting everything, okay. So nothing is present in the code pkg. Now I have retrieved in this particular folder. I just copy this. And I will paste in the code pkg folder. Okay, all this component. So now what I have to do is I have to I have to validate this complete package, right? So what I have to do is I have to click on end. I have to run the command deploy code check only. So once I will click on this particular command, what it will do is it will uh, you can go to the deployment status. Okay, so if you see here the validation gets succeeded right so this is the validation which i just ran and it got succeeded if you see here you get the option of the quick deploy right if you see here deployment visit this is this is validation basically so validation is succeeded and you will get the quick option deploy option now you have two options either you can click on the quick deploy here or you can again click this uh, you can you know quick deploy using the end tool as well so both of the options are available now what you have to do or what should be the 
uh, the generic question that you will ask like how you will get this particular feature enabled right so for this uh, let me go to the build xml file okay so build xml file if you see here so this was the command i have done deploy code check only okay so what it is doing is deploy code check only it is uh, checking all the components in your code pkg folder okay where i have put all the files which i have retrieved so deploy root is code pkg test level you should mention as run specified test for sure right this should be the test level run specified test and again if you want don't want your code to be deployed then uh, this is the check check on this must be true right now uh, which specified test you want to run you have to mention in this particular syntax like run test and then the test class name Okay, so once you with this particular uh, you know this package xml structure once you will hit this deploy code check uh, only command what it is doing it is looking your, from your code pkg folder your package and it will run the specified test uh, and it will not deploy the code this is just a validation which says check only is equals to true so in which specified test it is running this is running the specified test which you have mentioned here which is contact trigger test class in your package okay so that is why once with this particular thing i will do the validation it says the uh, deployment succeeded or validation succeeded and uh, you will get the vision of the quick deploy right now i can do the quick deploy here also and i have the leverage of doing it through the workbench as well right so in workbench in the build properties file you have to mention this recent validation id and once you will with the, you will have the recent validation id in the build properties file you can use and uh, quick deploy feature which is like this quick deploy right you can use quick deploy so what it is doing it is looking the recent validation id so this recent validation id must be present in your build dot properties file and uh, if you prep if you if you mention like sf dot recent validation id is equals to that id uh, you can deploy it through the end tool as well but for now if you click here quick deploy right if you see if you click on the deploy then we can easily do this right it says deployment succeeded so now basically the deployment gets successful and uh, now this time this there is no validation this is uh, successful basically so if you see here deployment status it says deployment gets succeeded right so this is how you can do the uh, quick deploy using and do so do not forget uh, you know to uh, like or subscribe uh, my channel if you like this video and uh, do share in the comments what all you would like to cover as my next videos thank you everyone thanks for watching the video we'll meet again